good morning good morning good morning good morning happy sunday to you guys how are you guys i figured i would jump on today um it is sunday a couple things i think we're gonna just have a really fun chat today i want to show you some of the things i'm updating so one of the and a couple things so one of the things is i was tracking my spending for the week and I was tracking it in the Hobonichi weeks. Um, so I could just really keep track of how much I was spending. So that's what I did. And that's what I'm going to share with you. So I just kept track in here. You can keep track in a notebook. You can keep track in um, on your phone. I mean, whatever works for you. Um, there's also this planner that I also use. I, I haven't really kept track of spending in this planner, but I do like to write in this planner like every morning when I'm sitting down pre prepping for work and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to be adding like affirmations and things like that. But I do, I do write in this in the morning. It's just, it helps me set the tone, like set the day, uh, keeps me focused. So it's like, okay, well today I'm going to be working on orders, laundry, uh, cleaning, prepping for work. I need to do a YouTube video. So I just kind of like to just write out some of the things that I need to do for the day, um, in this planner. So I'm going to move it underneath. So, um, that's what I do with the planner. The planner is available in my website and they have different patterns. Just received a couple patterns that were really cute, like flowers. Um, so I do use the planner, um, but I was saying how I wanted to keep track of the spending in my Hobonichi weeks. So that is what I did. So I want to share it with you. Um, so what I did was I just highlighted on this side, showing you what I, like what I spent money on. Um, and I use the money from my cash envelopes. So I don't take it out with me, but I do have like, um, I have a miscellaneous clear envelope, um, that I use to, and I put that in my wallet. So I don't have to take out the, the bigger binder. I leave it at home. So, uh, that is here. Oh my God, my stomach is growling. Um, so what I did was I took the money out, I brought it with me and the days that I spent, I wrote down what I spent and the days that I didn't, I would just put a zero. And this, this is just to stay on track. Um, so for Friday, Friday I was at work and um, I went, I ordered Instacart. Okay, so that's when you order the food and you just go pick it up. I needed a few few items, so I did that. And then my daughter says, you know what, mom, we don't wanna have pizza, can you make food? So that's when I decided to make the chili. So I actually went inside um, the store and then I bought more. So the first order was the 60. And um, I just took the money out of the cash envelopes and then I deposited back in the, like I took the money out and then I just put it in the bank because for Instacart, I had to use my card. So that is what I did. I also, um, I had the cash for the chili on me. So I paid for that with the cash. I even think I did a story. Um, I also ordered um, Amazon. So I ordered a few items off of Amazon. So I took the money that I had in here and I deposited. So I had deposited all together at once. Like I knew I was going to be doing this. So I took the money and I, I deposited the 80 plus the 60. Saturday was um, me just working on orders. Literally just, I worked all day. Uh, so I didn't spend any money. And then today is, this, is going to be the same. I will just be working on orders, do laundry, kind of prep, do everything that I need to do in the house. So that is how much I spend for this past week. And I think I'm going, so it, it's good to be accountable for the money that you're spending. Oh, I put it up here, Tuna. 
but I, I'm pretty sure I ordered something for, for lunch on Friday. And I can't remember. I, wow, that's really bad when you can't even remember two days ago. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, anyways, I put the money in the bank for everything that I spent. So it's just, just it's just a way of being accountable for um, you spending. And this is where I keep, of oh, you guys know, if you have been watching me, you guys know that I have everything in here. So I'm in the process as we speak. I'm literally talking to three suppliers right now, bags. And I think I came up with a name. I think I might just do the binder bundle. Um, binder bundle something. I think I'm just going to keep it very simple. So I do appreciate everybody who, um, you know, who replied back to me. I didn't, I don't want it to be too complicated. So I was thinking, you know, my daughter's like, mom, why don't you just try to keep it very simple for people? And I'm like, yeah, that's true. So I got to look at it in a couple different ways. So, all right. So you guys, um, yep. So I love, I love this. So as you guys know, I'm in the process of creating, um, a binder bag. I might even do binder bag. <laughs> Binder bundle bag. I think that's perfect. Three Bs. Binder bundle bag. Um, so I also have another supplier that is working on something that I had custom made. And so this is really going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to share it with you right now. So part of the bundle that I am doing is going to be a set of six of these. And the six of these are going to be top loading. So they're not going to be side, they're going to be top loading and they're going to be for your um, sinking funds. So I've decided to choose savings, emergency, clothing, vacation, Christmas or holidays. Cause not everybody, you know, celebrates Christmas. So I figured holidays would be better. So I was trying to make it more wide. So savings, Instead of me putting saving challenge, let's just put savings because you could be saving for whatever. It doesn't have to be a challenge. Saving is saving, right? So let's just do, we're going to do saving, emergency, holidays, vacation, clothing. I think there's one more. Um, so those are going to be top loading. And so that's also going to be with the, um, with the bundle. And so I'm trying to put it all together. So I know that people will say, when's it going to be ready? You know? And so it's, it's, I want it just as fast as you, but I have to wait for them so that the, the top loading ones are in production now. Um, so these are in production and I am ordering the binders. I've ordered the um, the credit card holders, I had to order like another 200. So I have to order enough for each binder. So, and then as well as these. So I'm putting another order in for a hundred of these. Um, and I think I'm going to see if he could actually like put bank deposit on it. Um, so I, I, I would like to have this included as well. Um, so, so it's being, you know, worked on. I have to get enough supplies for each item that I'm actually putting in. So it is really fun. It is exciting. And, um, I just can't wait. I can't wait till it is, I have everything, um, together. So hopefully they said the pouches will be done in February. Um, so I wasn't going to put my tag inside, but then I thought, you know what? Sometimes you have to be patient for good things, right? So why not just be patient and have it done correctly instead of rushing and having, um, I don't want a tag on the outside. I want it completely plain. Um, so I also have some cash breakdown sticky notes. So they're very similar to this. So these are the sinking funds and these are the cash envelopes. But when you go to the bank, right? Let's say you want to deposit money or you want to take, you want to um, take your money out. So let's say I get paid. I go to the bank uh, on a Friday. So it's going to be a cash breakdown. So you'll have one, five, 10, 20, fifties. I didn't have hundreds because I don't think that makes any sense. So I just wanted to list the smaller amounts. 
So you would go, you would take, you just rip it off. You would list out what you wanted for ones, what you wanted for fives, tens, and twenties, and then you just give it to the teller. So like, let's say I'm, I'm taking $300 out. I would use my breakdown. I can go inside and say, I want you to break down these amounts because you're put the, you're putting them in the different categories. So I ordered those as well. So those are, those should be here sooner than the bags. But anyways, the fun thing is it's, it's working. It is in the process and I'm so excited. So I think that's great. Um, where was I? So keeping track right here, let's go back. So I took the money out. I took the money out for everything that I needed, um, that I knew that I was going to need, right? So I would take the money out and I put it in my little wallet. So you have your little wallet, you have your miscellaneous and you put your money in it. Do go about your business, keep track. So let's go ahead I listed everything here. So I'm just going to close up this wallet so I can show you in the updated, like what I did. So, okay. My stomach is growling. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and do an updated. Put that like that. <laughs> um, All right, what I like to do is list out the balances. So for groceries, I updated it already. So if you take um, the, if we're, we're gonna go through the cash envelopes right now, so I can show you what the balances are and how I updated, and I just updated them on the back. So for groceries, Make sure you have the correct amount so you know what you're dealing with. <laughs> um, and I also have the line ones on the way as well. Um, I do like the line ones better than the grid. So, all right. So we have 170 for grocery, and I I listed out what I what I spent. Um, so for gas, okay, here it is here. So for gas, I spent sixty dollars. I I put, I put $40 in one day and then I put another 20 in another day. So the total was $60 that I put in and I only have $20 left, but I have a full tank of gas, so it's okay. I'm good for the week. And then I get paid on Friday. So that's what I'm going to miss is when I get paid on Fridays. Um, if I decide to leave my job, I have to like, how am I going to, how am I going to say that? Hmm. I'll have to give myself my own uh, money. Okay, 110 for beauty. I did not, um, I didn't get my nails done this week. It's going to be next week. So probably this week I will get them done at lunchtime. They're so short. They make my, they, they make my hands like so stubby. Um, I think I need to get them long again. They just look so stubby. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I, I definitely need my nails done. I need them done on point and nice. A hundred dollars for household. I still have 100. I'm going to look through. I am actually um, going to look through the stuff that I need, like new sponges, um, cleaning supplies, paper plates, paper towels, toilet paper. And that is what I like to spend on the household. I have a hundred. So eating out is another category that I spent a couple dollars this week. Oops. So eating out is, I did lunch. What do I have left? I have $85 left and I did lunch 15. So that might be right. You know what? It is right. I did not eat on Friday. That's what it was. I wanted to eat, but then I didn't have any money with me. And so I went to the car wash. That's right. I did my story. That's right. I went to the car wash. I got stuck in the car wash and I was like, you know what? I'll just make a coffee when I get back to work. So I didn't even eat. 
85 and BJ's is 100 miscellaneous is 390 oh I'm so sorry guys my stomach is growling one two Fifty. Four. Four ten. Oh, I can't even add. As of today, we're gonna put the balance is four ten. Wow, I am I'm in like impressed. Four ten. Well, it's time to shop. It is definitely time. This is great because um, my daughter wants me to buy her this Target. Like um, It's like a buffet stand to put your coffee on and stuff. And Target has it for like $130. So I have $410 in my miscellaneous. I love it because when I want to buy something, I want to buy something. Um, okay, so Lucian is $120. Ezra, Target, Car, Joann's. Um, Lucian, I didn't, I didn't touch anything here. Oh, I think it's one fifty. Yeah, it has to be one fifty. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, um, one eighty. That's what it is. It's one eighty. Okay, it's one eighty. Can't even read my own writing. Okay, so Lucian has one eighty. Um. Ezra has 180. Okay. I know my daughter sends me a text yesterday. She's like, Ezra wants this for his first birthday. I'm like, oh, he does. You know, she was kidding about the, <laughs> the stand. Target, I have to. Actually, I can actually use this, but I'll probably use my miscellaneous for her. Target, I'll leave because I do like to have those moments where... The thing is, is that I've just been really busy with orders and stuff, so I haven't had any time to go to the store. Um, so hopefully when I leave my job, I will have to, you know, buckle down, but I'll have the opportunity to be able to do the things that I want to do. Target is 200 car. I don't have anything. Joann's. I do need to go to Joann's and get more yarn. And then I have my cards in here. I love these clear envelopes. They are so beautiful. Like they're really nice. Um, then I have Amazon. So Amazon, I took money out because I went shopping. I bought stuff. Oh, I took it out $126, $80. I have $100 left. So uh, my suggestion is to create um, create different categories and areas where you like to spend. So maybe you go to Target, maybe you like to do Amazon. Um, you know, I have the grandbabies, like stuff like that. So then for the saving challenge, I have money in here. I have like a hundred, I think there's a hundred. Let's just, so I have a hundred dollars, um, in this challenge. This is a holiday challenge. Um, so for Valentine's day, I have money to be able to buy like the kids something, get a card for everyone, you know, John, <laughs> get a card, get, you know what I mean? So you have money set aside for the different holidays that come around. Um, the planner sinking funds, I have 20 bucks. I love this envelope. This is a really good quality envelope as well, but essentially you can use like one of these. This one's just a little bit bigger. Um, so I ended up putting holes in it. It fit perfectly. And if you don't want to put holes, then you can stick it in the back and it also fits perfectly. So when you're laying down the little, the pocket, you want to go as far down as you can go. I still have a little room, but it still fits. But I'm just saying like for future people that if you order, you want to just try to put it as far down as you can. Um, I could probably just add this 
but then I would have to increase the price because I do pay for these. You know what I mean? So I just try to sell them um, individually. All right. Um, okay. And then these are the credit cards. This is a credit card. This is the Friday challenge. And I had already, I had already added to it. So we're good because I didn't get paid this week. So I wanted to just do like an updated video on the money that I spent for this week. And I wanted to list out the balances that I had for the cash envelopes. And I also wanted to list out the balances for the sinking funds, which I put right here. So this is good because I can have that visual. So this week is going to be a great week um, because I'm going to stay positive. I have my hands, my fingers, I, my family. Everything is just wonderful. Um, so hopefully I can start to make some changes with my personal life um, because I want to do other things besides just work uh, my day job and then work on my business. Like doing both is a lot. So I have to figure out what to do with that. Um, but anyways, um, so we are all set with updating the cash envelope. So what I like to do is put it back in here. I actually have quite a few. I have, um, I have different color. I have different colors and I have like six of these. They all have the name and I have the different colors. Um, I wasn't 100% like happy with some of the stitching. So like with the lighter colors, you can see that it wasn't completely like, I don't know, it wasn't perfect, but it was okay. So I don't know. I might just include them as like freebies or something until I get the, like the real ones in. But you know, if you, if you are watching this and you're like really interested then just reach out to me and I can show you the colors that I have. So all right, so, all right, I'm going to put this aside. Um, also, I, if you, here, let me just put this. I had this up over here. So this is, um, this is a bill tracker. It's a yearly bill tracker. And I shared this on my stories this week. Um, so you, this is the full year and this is the acrylic. So it, as you can see, it's very, very thick. Um, I do offer this, um, in my website as well, but I just wanted to share with you the comparison that these are not like the, the super thin ones that are from Amazon. Um, and I went ahead, I, I used to always do this previously, uh, for the whole year. So I decided to just create one, um, and include it as a freebie. So if you go to my website, you will see this as a freebie, or if you were to purchase this, you will also get this as a freebie. You don't have to purchase it, but there's both. Um, I listed out all of my bills and then for the month now, car insurance is going to be the 30th, which I think, um, when is that? God, I don't even have a calendar. The 30th is going to be because um, February 1st is Wednesday. So I'm assuming tomorrow. Okay. So for tomorrow, um, I have it on auto. Let's just put here. Let me just put this. I just I put auto and so I'm just gonna put a check mark because they take it automatically out of my um, checking account so they take it automatically um, and then for February we're starting a new month and then what I did was I put the the name I put the due date and then over here I just put the balances of the credit cards so I can visually see how much because Ultimately, the goal is to get rid of them. It's time to get rid of them. And I have been doing, as you can see, the list is a lot, is a lot smaller than when I first started. Um, so yeah, these are the higher ones. Target, I think, is zero. That's why I left it blank. This one's zero. This is pretty low. I can just pay this one off. So anyways, February is coming. And so all I, what I like to do is just check. So I leave this on my desk and I'll just look 
And because the money's already in my checking account, I would take care of these, obviously, so I don't, you know, <laughs> I'm not late. Anyways, that's available if you're interested in that. Last but not least, <gasps> look what I got in the mail. Oh my God. So I saw this on Carrie's instagram and i was like what is that like what is this like i need to have it i just had to of course so anyways this is commit 30 um and i really like i really fell in love so this is supposed to be for like goals setting goals um so i'm gonna follow the steps it has my monthly goals overview. Um, so it has instructions. It says daily focus box. So each day. Um, then you have life to-do list. Work to-do list. Three categories. And then step four has you track each day. You share your goals. So... Remember, small steps, big results. Your daily to-do list should be determined by your overall goal. Hmm. <clears throat> so you could actually um, use inspiration for over here. You can put some, like, print out some pictures and things. So it says 30-day challenge, and you check off each day. So for this month, you're going to commit to what? What are some of the steps that you're going to do? This is the monthly goal. These are your action steps. So for me, what I would do is, um, so I really want to focus on my health. So I think that I can make it work. So this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'd like to use this as my business, like business goal planner so each month you can change it so for example this looks like it's so much fun i can't so for this month you're going to create so for this month you would choose what you want to work towards it even has your monthly overview how cute and we are we're over you know january but it would be good to like practice but I love it. I think this is great. So here is February. And I want to incorporate family. So, so for me, I like, I'm sorry, hold on. I'm just trying to get this out. Um, so for me, I would, I want to use this as like a business planner so I can stay focused on some of the goals that I want to do. There's a lot of things to a business that I don't know. The silhouette machine, like I know how to use the Cricut, but I need to get, you know, learn how to do that. I want to print some inserts. So there's just a lot of stuff I want to do. And, um, yeah, so commit 30 day challenge. So for this month, I'm just, I don't know what I would, what I would list. I would probably put like business. So each day I would try to do something that is regarding my business, which I do anyways. Um, oh, so, okay. So it actually starts February 6th. January. Okay, so we still have this month here. So here's Monday, which is tomorrow. And if we did like today, it would be over here, which I can. And then you would start and then so Monday would be here. So you have Monday morning, Monday at lunch, Monday afternoon. You have the times. This is really nice. This is really good, I think, especially for people who work from home because you have the times literally right here. And time blocking is extremely important, especially for being successful because um, we don't have a lot of time in the day, right? So if you use your time wisely, if you sit and you play on your phone for two hours, you know how much you can get done in two hours. So think of it like that. And that's one of the reasons why I put my phone away in the evening because of these reasons, because it takes a lot of my time away. And I'm like, oh my God. 
I, I have this and this and that to do. So this is great. It has the times right here. Monday, you could use this as a like morning, uh, lunch, dinner. And then over here it says life to do. So these are other things and then work. So what are some of the things that you have to do like that are personal? Like laundry, cleaning, you know, take a shower, your basics, basic stuff you have to do. Um, yeah. Then you start February. Then you have another month. It's all, it's just great. I love it. I love it. OMG. I do. Now, I don't care for these. I never, I never cared for this type of stuff. <gasps> oh, it came out. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't really care for that. <laughs> I don't care for those. So yes, this is the commit 30. So I'm definitely going to start to do this. So let's go back. So what would you, okay. So a lot, I don't know if I want to use this just as a business or incorporate, I know what I'll do. Personal and business. I like it. All you need to do is go to commit 30. Um, this is a small one. So the other size that they have is like an eight by 10. This is like the five by seven. So it's very similar to um, an A5. This is my mark edit. It's the same size. So you can actually use like an A5 cover. This is my mark edit, which is my daily. I love this. I put everything in here. And then this is going to be my business for goals. I think that will be really, really fun. Um, and then over here. So this planner here I got from, it is from Japan. It is a mark edit daily. I think he also has weekly. But the thing is... Um, The thing is, you have to do searching. It You have to type Mark Edit A5 Daily. Um, you go to his website. It's in Japan. You click. You'll see it like A5, B6. You'll see the size. You click that. And then you pay for that. After that, it's going to direct you to world shipping. World shipping is where you're paying them to ship the product. So you'll have an additional fee. Um, it's a very simple process though. It's very, very easy. Clear and insert. Pocket in the back, credit card holder. So um, all of the things that I, I need to verify for the binder, I need binders, the bags, the cash envelopes that are pre-made, six blank cash envelopes, and then you're going to have six top loading, which are like sinking funds. The clear top loading inserts, the frosted top loading inserts, and I will also include the challenges, the saving challenges inside of them. They'll be printed, they will be put in. The pocket in the back and the credit card holder and the bank deposit calculator. So I think that is it. It's gonna be fun. So anyways, just wanted to write that down because it was on my mind. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so today's video, hopefully it's not too long. Um, I just wanted to uh, jump on and again, share with you how much I spent for the week, for this week on how much I spent, what I took out of the cash envelopes, what are the balances that I have. And I, you know, that is it. I hope that you guys also have a wonderful day. Um, and I'm going to finish writing my list of stuff that I have to do for today, prep for tomorrow. And that is it. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.